Hi, I'm John Avelson and I directed Rocky. What you're about to see is some of my 8mm, regular 8mm, footage of uh, makeup tests and the uh, fighting tests that we did during the course of uh, the preparation for uh, the filming. The 8mm footage proved invaluable. I was able to show it to the, uh, the actors to, uh, so they could see how much more work they had to do on, uh, on the fighting uh, to make it look real. Um, we used it uh, to help uh, Sylvester uh, lose some weight because I'd zero in on his uh, waistline and I said, L they're going to be looking at you, they're not going to be looking at me, so um, he, uh, he took that to heart. And I started using 8mm uh, footage uh, when I first started uh, making features, using it as a, uh, a blueprint, a sketch pad. Um, Shooting things with a little 8mm uh, camera allowed me to uh, try uh, this uh, size lens, that uh, angle, uh, this lighting condition. I found it very, uh, very helpful. When I first uh, started preparing for Rocky, uh, I hadn't seen uh, prize fights and didn't know much about it. So I thought the first thing I should do was look at all the other movies that had been shot uh, on uh, prize fighting, about prize fighters. Well, I looked at everything I could get my hands on, and I was impressed with how, uh, how phony the fighting looked. And um, I figured, well, if we're going to make a movie about fighting, the fighting should look, uh, look real. So when it came time to, uh, uh, to rehearse, uh, what I wanted to rehearse probably more than anything was the fighting. Because I knew that it wasn't going to be, uh, it wasn't going to look good unless the fighting looked good. So I was uh, able to prevail upon the uh, producers to give us a lot of rehearsal time for the fight. So a couple of weeks before we started shooting the movie, uh, I got uh, Sylvester and uh, Carl uh, into the ring to see what it was going to look like. Well. They got in the ring and they, one guy said, I'm going to do this, and the other guy said, no, I'm going to do that, and I realized that we weren't, we weren't going to get anywhere. So I suggested to uh, Sylvester, I said, why don't you go home and write this thing out? Uh, a left and a right, an uppercut, uh, you fall down, he falls down, whatever you, whatever you want, write it out. And bring it back and we'll learn that. And we'll learn it like a ballet, and we'll be choreographed. And we'll do the same thing day after day after day until we really got it down. So when you do this, he'll do that, and uh, we'll put in a big whack on the, on the soundtrack, and people will believe it. So he liked that idea, and the next day I think he came back with 32 pages of lefts and rights. And that's what we learned. Uh, and we didn't shoot the fighting stuff until the end of the uh, schedule which was a pretty short schedule anyway. So we had a, about six weeks to prepare the, uh, the fighting. Now, and I also showed the footage to uh, Bill Connie and uh, had a little 8mm projector that I could slow down and, and I'd show him that and play some uh, uh, Beethoven Sixth Symphony on the uh, tape recorder and, and explain that this was the kind of feeling that I, I wanted, uh, a classical sound to move the, uh, to move the fighting up. And he liked that idea, and that's what we did. The actors were very eager to see my 8mm uh, footage uh, as soon as it came back from the drugstore. And we'd uh, sit there and they'd say, oh yeah, i got to do this more. Oh, look at that, that looked real, and so forth. So it was a very handy uh, uh, guide, and a lot better than waiting until it got shot for real and we were sitting there in the dailies uh, cringing. So we did all our cringing with the 8mm, uh, and by the time we uh, shot it uh, big time, it looked good. So we're going to run some of this... Uh, home movie eight millimeter footage for you now unfortunately in those days it was silent uh, so that's how you're going to see it now and we're just going to let it run and uh, you take a look at it and you can imagine what uh, what we were uh, thinking maybe when we saw it for the first time
Now, as I said earlier, when we first started looking at this eight millimeter footage, a lot of the th the uh, the things that you've uh, seen were the uh, actual blows from the uh, first round, second round, the uh, 14th, 15th uh, round, and you may want to uh, compare the various uh, uh, rounds with this uh, eight millimeter footage, and you'll see that the uppercut in the left where uh, uh, Sylvester uh, did this and uh, Carl did that. You'll see the uh, the, the genesis of those uh, blows on the eight millimeter footage. I know uh, I, I find it amusing to uh, to see the incredible uh, uh, progress that uh, they made from the beginning to the end.